Hey guys, how's it going? It's Vicious, and today I'm doing a quick tutorial. Finally getting around to doing the keyboard change on my new MSI GT70. Uh, we're going to start with the back of the unit. So, first of all, here's the new keyboard. As you can see, it's a really thin, neat keyboard. This is the backlit model, so that's why on the back it has the keyboard stuff and the LED stuff. <coughs> to change the keyboard here, what we've got to do is we've got to start at the bottom. Go ahead and take out your, your battery first because you don't want any power going to the unit. Uh, that might cause problems if you, call, if you do a short or something to your system. I used a, a number zero screwdriver, but you might get away with other sizes. And you're going to go to the bay door on the bottom. There is in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. Uh, some of them you can see are not labeled and some of them have the keyboard labeling. So just take out every screw that you can see on the master bay door and then pry that off gently. Now, inside of here on this side, right here on the top left is a small ribbon cable that you just grab the tab of it and gently pull it out. Let me go ahead and give you a closer look at that. So we're looking right here. I don't have really great lighting, but this small section right here is a ribbon cable and you just pull gently on the tab. You don't have to pry out anything with a screwdriver. You can do this with your fingers. Uh, that's controlling the LEDs, so you have to do that first from the bottom, and then we're going to flip it over and start working on the top. Okay, now we're ready to start on the top part. The uh, keyboard looks like it might pry directly up, but that would be false. What you have to do is actually pry up this uh, bar here that has the speaker grills and the touch buttons. That comes up first. Right above the keyboard, there's several little slots you can see if you look at it in person. And that's going to be the space for you to fit a screwdriver under there and gently pry it up and remove that. We're not going to disconnect it, we're just going to pull it up so we can get to the keyboard. thing is easy to see. You just got screws at the top of the keyboard. Those got to come out. And then once you've got those off, the keyboard can come up and we can disconnect the other ribbon cable. And we'll be almost done. Just have to reverse it from there. Now that I got that screw out, it's picking right up and it slides out. The bottom tabs slide out. We'll flip it over. We got the small ribbon already disconnected. There we go. Old keyboard out. It's time to put the new one in. So, the reason you might want to do this is if you happen to have gotten a defective keyboard and you get a replacement. But the other thing I'm thinking about is some people might actually have one of the non-backlit model keyboards and it might just be compatible with the backlight. Alright, so we need to get this at a 90 degree angle. That's going to be fun. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hold it in place with just one screw for now and get that ribbon cable, ribbon, ribbon cable situated on the other side. We're going to pick it up on the back here, like that. All right, LEDs are working. Keyboard came on with LEDs. try to type and it works. Now let's see if it's defective like the other one was. Test with the space bar. Working. Working. 
working. Oh yeah, it looks good, guys. All right, let's finish putting it back together all the way. Tabs for this are in the back, so we'll slide those back tabs in first. That is secure. Close the lid. Now the tabs for the bay door on the left side, the bigger side, so slide those in first. The first time I took this laptop, up, laptop apart, I didn't realize that, and I kind of forced it shut. So I put a little bit of a force on the plastic there. Just snap it down. If you get it right, it snaps in real easy. Now luckily all the screws are exactly the same size, so you don't have to worry about mixing these up. But it's a really good habit to always track your screws when you take something apart, in case they're not. Alright guys, the tutorial is pretty much done. Now I haven't done it before, so I was kind of learning as I was teaching, but I knew what I was doing. So hopefully you found it useful if you needed to do this. And if you have any questions, now that I've done it, I obviously will be able to answer you. So just post any questions you have on the video and I'll be happy to help you. I'm going to do some research for you guys that own the uh, non-backlit model and see if you can actually make the uh, LED backlit keyboard work with your model. So we're all done. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you next time.